Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Edward, uh, and I'm going to be talking about Wikidata and OpenStreetMap. So uh, just about me, uh, I'm, I'm a hobbyist. I'm not here representing, uh, I don't work in geospatial. I'm not here representing an employer. Um, and I've been doing OpenStreetMap and Wikipedia for a long time. So I think we, we all know what OpenStreetMap is. So I'm not going to talk too much about OpenStreetMap. But uh, then Wikidata, I think maybe people here may, uh, might not be familiar with Wikidata. So Wikidata is a collaborative built knowledge graph. Uh, so what, what am I talking about? Um, if, you, if you go and look at Wikipedia, this, I've come from Bristol in the UK. So this is the main railway station in, uh, in, uh, in Bristol on Wikipedia. Um, and there's a few bits and pieces here. You've got uh, a, an option to change the language of Wikipedia articles. So this article is available in 14 languages. And if you open that, you can scroll through and you can see the different languages. So that information that links the different languages has to be stored somewhere. Uh, and the other piece to look at on this article is the info box. There's a box on the side of most Wikipedia articles with a lot of information. Um, so this, this article's got that. And, and that information has to be stored somewhere. So if you go uh, up to the Tools menu in Wikipedia and you click the Tools menu, open it, then down the bottom of the Tools menu, you'll find a link to the Wikidata item. So uh, jump over. This is Wikidata. So Wikidata is run by the same people as Wikipedia, by the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, every article on Wikipedia has a Wikidata item. Um, but there's, there's actually more Wikidata items. So there's English is the biggest language Wikipedia, and there's 6 million articles in uh, English Wikipedia. But there's 100 million Wikidata items because people have been adding more things with imports and so on. So if we have a look at this, we've got the, uh, on the Wikidata item, we've got the links to the, uh, the article in all the different languages. So it, it, before Wikidata existed, this information used to be stored within Wikipedia. And someone would translate the, write a new article about the same topic in a different language, and you'd have to go and edit all of the other languages to add the, uh, the language links in. So much better to move this information to Wikidata. Um, and then the other pieces from languages, we've got uh, statements. So here you've got the statement saying that uh, this is an instance of a railway station. You've got an image, uh, countries, United Kingdom, uh, and all of these things are, are, are linked through to other items. They're not just free text fields. So you can go through and you know, find out more information about the, the items that it links to. Um, but the thing that we're excited about is the coordinates, because we like uh, maps. So uh, things that are real world things uh, will have coordinates in Wikidata. Um, and there's, there's some more information you can see there about, about the item. Uh, the other piece that uh, is very useful is the identifiers. So uh, uh, Wikidata likes to collect identifiers, uh, you know, ways to represent things in different places. I like to think of Wikidata as a bit like uh, the Rosetta Stone of data because you've got different databases on the internet and you can look up an item using an identifier, find the Wikidata item, and then you can go off and find you know, the same thing in a different online database because you've, you've got the identifier from Wikidata. So all very useful stuff. Um, and then the, the thing to note on Wikidata is the identifiers. Everything uh, on Wikidata is identified by a number starting with Q. Um, so the, you, this um, item has, has a Q number, uh, and so does everything else. That you can, and that doesn't change. That's like a, a stable identifier. Um, so the, the, that, that was. Um, the nice uh, front end where you can look around things and you can edit. Um, but then when it comes to querying, uh, we get a bit more complicated. So uh, Wikidata has a query system using a language called Sparkle. This is the Wikidata query service. And you can write some complex queries. So I've got here a Sparkle query to find churches in Tartu. Um, and it's, you're not supposed to understand this. You know, it's a bit like writing SQL, but not quite the same. It's a W3C standard for the semantic web. Um, so I've got, uh, this is saying, find churches in Tartu City, um, give me the coordinates, and give me any images that you, you've got. Um, so uh, the, you get, I've got 17 results here, and you get, get a list with the, when, when the churches were built and where they are. Uh, but you can also change the view. So you can say, show me it in an image grid, and you get the pictures of the churches. 
or the, uh, the Wikidata query service has a map view. We, we like maps, so there's, there's a map with some, some dots of where the churches are in Tartu. So Wikidata's a, a great system, uh, but what we really like is to be able to uh, link together, oh no, I've got, sorry, I've forgotten this slide. Um, yeah, so we'd like to be able to link together uh, OpenStreetMap and Wikidata and be able to look up things in uh, OpenStreetMap and find them on Wikidata uh, and the reverse. But just, just one, one last thing about Sparkle. This is uh, uh, quite a complex uh, Sparkle query, just, just a bit of fun. And this is impact craters named after choreographers. So uh, uh, Wikidata you know, knows about all the impact craters in the universe and it knows ab about what they're named after. Um, and and there's, here's a list of all the uh, impact craters named after uh, choreographers. Um, so I went to uh, State of the Map EU in 2014 uh, in, in uh, Karlsruhe in Germany. Uh, similar to this event, the, um, the main State of the Map, the OpenStreetMap conference was going on in uh, South America. So they did a uh, conference in, in, in uh, Europe. Uh, you know, it was a, a nice town, uh, like Tartu's nice, uh, an exciting conference, you know, good people, good talks, and there was a hackathon at the end. They were like, let's, let's have a hackathon, work on some ideas, uh, and, uh, and I, I looked at the list of ideas, and someone said, I've got this idea for uh, writing a system to find links between Wikidata and OpenStreetMap, and I said, yeah, that's a great idea, let's meet up uh, and work on this project. Um, and this was the guy, uh, Andy Mabbott, who, who's a Wikipedian, uh, and he wasn't even there. He was just, he posted the idea and was just like, yeah, I think someone should work on this. So I didn't get to meet him uh, at the conference, but I thought this is a good idea. So I started building it. So um, this, is, this is my software I've built. The, uh, you go to uh, osm.wikidata.link, uh, put in the name of a place and hit search, and, and the system will think for a bit uh, and then it, it will try and find uh, matches for you between Wikidata and OpenStreetMap, things that are on uh, in both systems that match up. So this is Tartu. The, the, uh, the blue dots you can see are things from Wikidata. Um, and, and then if I scroll down, you can, you can see it's got a list of um, all the matches it's found. Um, if I, if I zoom in, so this is a cemetery in Tartu that it thinks that it, it, the, uh, the red pin is where the coordinates are from Wikidata and the blue outline, the polygon, is from OpenStreetMap. So these are probably the same thing. Uh, I've got a tick box that I can tick to say yes, this is, this is the, uh, you know, these two things match. Um, and then uh, just to help you, I'm, I'm showing you, you know, bits and pieces, like I've got the photos are coming from Wikidata. Uh, I've got the, uh, the, the, the name of the thing coming from Wikidata and the description from Wikidata, and I show you the first paragraph uh, from Wikipedia just to, to help you out. Um, and then down here you can see that it says it's got an exact match in terms of the location, like um, you know, they, they're overlapping, and, uh, and, and it's saying that the, the names match, so you know, probably is the same thing. So the idea is you go through each of these results and you check them. You know, you're, you're making sure the machine hasn't made a mistake. Um, what have I got? Oh yeah, uh, this is item type cemetery. So it's matching on uh, the fact that it's a cemetery in both systems. Uh, and then if we scroll down to the bottom of the page, um, there's a button at the bottom that says add Wikidata tags to OpenStreetMap. Uh, and you click that uh, link and it takes you to a confirmation page uh, so this just shows you the same uh, information again, but in a different style to say, we're gonna uh, save this information to uh, OpenStreetMap. So it'll make a, a change set on OpenStreetMap with these edits. Um, shows you the, the, the list of the edits it's gonna make. So it's, it's found 91 matches that it's ready to upload. Uh, and it, it automatically generates a change comment, you know, like a, a description of the change that's going into OpenStreetMap and you can edit that if you want. And then when you're happy, uh, you hit save and it, it uploads the, uh, the changes, the tags to OpenStreetMap. Um, so the, the criteria for matching is uh, it's got to be the same entity type, like if it's you know, a railway station in one system, it's got to be a railway station in the other system. It's got to have the same coordinates, like you know, got to be close together, and then it either has to have the same name or the same street address or an identifier. Uh, so I'll talk about some of those things. 
this was my example I was using was the, the uh, cemetery in, in Tartu. Uh, and if we look closely on here, it says it's an instance of uh, cemetery. Um, so I can click on cemetery, and this is the uh, Wikidata uh, item for uh, cemeteries. Uh, and if we scroll down on here, then there's a, a property in Wikidata for OpenStreetMap tag or key. Uh, so this is trying to say how uh, uh, a cemetery would be represented on OpenStreetMap. Now, there's, there's, there's two ways of representing a cemetery on uh, OpenStreetMap, but Wikidata knows that the main one is land use equals cemetery. Um, so that's how we can match up and make sure that the thing is the same thing. Uh, I've got an example here of uh, some of my name matching. I'm doing uh, normalization for the name matching, so I don't look for an exact string match. Uh, I've got lots of, you know, I lowercase things, and I strip out punctuation, uh, and then I also try reorder reordering the names. I'm not using uh, any kind of large language models or other AI yet. Like, I, I've tried to see how far I can get with the name matching without using AI. I might, I might, I might add AI at some point, but um, the, this, is, this is what, you know, working for me at the moment. Uh, and then I've got some extra code for handling church names because there's a lot of churches and you, there's different ways of, of uh, writing churches. So, you know, special case that and I pick up a lot more uh, matches. Uh, and then the matching ident identifier. So railway stations often have a code that represents them, things like airports. And, and these codes are in both systems, so I can um, match on any of these uh, identifiers. Uh, but, and, you know, an I mean, important question is, well, why, why bother? Why add these links? And um, there's, there's various reasons. Uh, Wikidata tends to have the names of things in more languages than OpenStreetMap. So, um, you know, useful for if you're using the, the data in OpenStreetMap, you, you can get the, the labels in more languages from, uh, from Wikidata. Uh, and, and linking into Wikipedia articles. Like, um, people add uh, the, the links to Wikipedia from uh, uh, OpenStreetMap, but again, you've got the problem with multiple languages, which article do you link to? Um, so if you just link to the Wikidata item, then you can get from that to, uh, you know, whichever language article you want on Wikipedia. Uh, Wikimedia Commons is the uh, uh, Wikimedia Foundation's place for storing images. So there's lots of photos available. Uh, you, if you need photos of things on OpenStreetMap, you can pull them in from Wikidata Commons. Uh, and like I said, with the identifiers, the identifiers are like... Uh, uh, you know, Wikidata you could think of as like a Rosetta Stone for identifiers, so it's great to be able to provide those identifiers to OpenStreetMap. Um, and then in the other direction, uh, uh, w w Wikidata and Wikipedia benefit from getting the, uh, the polygons from OpenStreetMap. When you uh, look up things on Wikidata, you can see uh, the outlines, that, um, and that, that data is being pulled in from OpenStreetMap. So both sides uh, benefit from these, from these links existing. Um, so the, the software is built uh, using Python. I'm using pretty standard Python uh, libraries, and then the front end obviously is written in JavaScript. I'm using Leaflet and uh, Vue.js and Bootstrap for the front end. Um, uh, and there's a bunch of APIs I get to use. So the, the, the uh, OpenStreetMap geocoding API is nominatum, nominatum, and I use that a lot. The, uh, the OpenStreetMap overpass API I use to pull data from OpenStreetMap, uh, and, and then the uh, Wikidata MediaWiki API uh, and, and the query service. The Sparkle that I was showing you earlier, I run Sparkle queries to pull things from Wikidata. Um, and I, I have some problems with the Overpass API and the Wikidata query service. They both time out. I do quite big queries. I, I ask for big bounding boxes for information. And, and sometimes they, they, they say that this is too much information you're asking for. And, you, and then uh, I've got software which uh, splits the bounding box into four and then requests again. And then that usually works. Sometimes one of those fails, splits into four again. So it can be a bit annoying. But uh, that's you know, all handled kind of automatically. So those are the APIs I'm using. Uh, and the, the source code is open source. Uh, and it's, it's available on GitHub. Um, So, there's the, the website again. Uh, so, I have got some difficulties. 
Uh, and the difficulty is, uh, one of them is th uh, different licenses. So uh, Wikidata is licensed CC0, um, you know, public domain, do what you want with it. Whereas OpenStreetMap has got its own license, which is the open database license. So you, uh, because the licenses are incompatible, you can't copy data from OpenStreetMap to uh, Wikidata because it would, it would violate the license. Um, and uh, so, I mean, that's okay, I'm not doing that. I'm just adding the links, but it's, it's something to be aware of. Um, but it's even more uh, tricky than different licenses in that it's different uh, intellectual property jurisdictions. So OpenStreetMap asserts database rights, which is just a, a European uh, concept in intellectual property, and a Wikidata uses US intellectual property rules uh, where f facts are not protected uh, in US law. So, um, you know, there's a feeling that Wikidata is a collection of facts that you, that you can't really protect any of that, whereas OpenStreetMap takes a different point of view and says that um, the, the, the facts are protected by database rights because it's taken a lot of effort to collect this information, uh, and so there should be some intellectual property pr protection. Uh, and there's a feeling uh, among some in the OpenStreetMap community that Wikidata is a derived work of Google Maps. People have been going and finding the coordinates of things uh, and putting these coordinates into Wikidata, and maybe it's got, you know, um, 100,000 coordinates that have been copied from uh, Google Maps. So if we were to try and copy any of those coordinates into uh, OpenStreetMap, then, you know, we'd be making a derived work of Google Maps. So. Uh, luckily, we're not doing that. We're just adding the links, uh, so it's all fine. But it's something to think about for people reusing the data, people who are pulling the data from both systems and combining it. You know, maybe maybe there's 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 problems there. Um, uh, and another problem we've got is stable identifiers. For a long time, people the OpenStreetMap uh, like to say that the the identifiers for things were not stable. Uh, there's a, um, uh, a wiki page on the OpenStreetMap wiki about permanent ID saying we should invent a stable identifier. Um, the idea was maybe you'd map a railway station as a point and then later someone would column along and map it as a polygon around the building uh, and when that happens the ID changes. Um, but the, the reality now is that most of the world is mapped in OpenStreetMap and the identifiers aren't changing so they're pretty much stable identifiers and you can use them and you can link into them. Um, and so because for a long time there the weren't stable identifiers, uh, the, the links didn't exist in the other direction. You couldn't link from Wikidata into OpenStreetMap. Um, the, uh, they've, they've changed that now and you can, you can do those links. Uh, and then within Wikidata, Wikidata is supposed to have stable identifiers, but it turns out that they're not stable, that there's loads of duplicates in Wikidata. People have loaded data from different sources. The same church has appeared in the system twice. You end up merging the, uh, the duplicate data, and one of the identifiers gets replaced with a redirect. So there's loads of uh, redirects now that are pointed to from OpenStreetMap, and those need to be fixed. Um, so, you know, just a few things that need working on. And I'm sorry, this slide is what I was saying about the OpenStreetMap IDs uh, have been added recently to Wikidata. Um, and I need to change my tool. My tool at the moment only adds the links in one direction. It adds the links from uh, OpenStreetMap pointing to Wikidata, but I need to change it to add the links in the other direction as well. Uh, and it's going to make the user interface more complicated. I'm going to have to make people log in to both OpenStreetMap and Wikidata to, and to edit both of them. Um, but, you know, they, it, it's on my to-do list, and, and I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, so people are using the tool. There's been, uh, there's lots of Wikidata tags now in OpenStreetMap. There's over three million Wikidata tags. You know, the links have been added. Um, these are some of the people who are using my tool, you know. Uh, and and here's, here's some stats. I've got almost 500 users. Uh, and about 25% of the, uh, the tags that are in for Wikidata that are in OpenStreetMap is uh, done using the software. Um, so trying to fix some of these things. I've got a new version that I'm working on. This, this will load faster and will show you a big map. Uh, you zoom in, you see some pins, you can click on pins uh, and, and start um, linking things straight away. Uh, here, here's an example of, uh, of what the, the new version is going to look like. Um, again, big map and, and, and more data. Um, so yeah, that's, that is my thing.
Any, any questions? Thanks so much, uh, Edward, for the presentation. Uh, any questions from the audience? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, only, only one question about the, um, the coordinates. So Wikimedia, Wikimedia has only uh, like latitude and longitude, uh, nothing else, right? Yep. Okay, and, and there is also the match of, of like a geographical match uh, between the features, yes. So if the point is, is like within, like the church is within a uh, relation of... Yeah, or, or, or if, it's, if it's two points and they're um, within 100 meters of each other, then it'll match. Like it's, you know, it's just if things are close together. Uh, it doesn't have to be a point within a polygon. It can be two points, or it could be the point, you know, close to the polygon if it's within 10 meters of the polygon. Then that'll match. Okay, and and um, if I want to query um, OpenStreetMap by overpass, could it be better to query by your uh, by that kind of SQL. Uh, uh, yes. You you can't you can't really use Sparkle to query OpenStreetMap. There was a service for a while where you could use Sparkle, but I think it's not running at the moment. Okay. Uh, you know, it's probably best to stick with uh, overpass. Overpass, yeah, yeah, with all the limits of nope. overpass. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Um, we have three more minutes for questions. Hey, uh, thank you, Edward, for the talk. Uh, Wikidata in OpenStreetMap has a really long history, and I remember it start not many people in OpenStreetMap like that connection, but I feel like it's changing over the years. So what the state of community relations right now? Uh, I think it's okay. Like, I'm not, I'm not watching too closely. Uh, when I started this project, I didn't build the, uh, the user interface. I was just matching things uh, automatically and putting them in uh, OpenStreetMap. And our people were quite upset with that um, because I had some false positives. So, you know, the, uh, it's, it's trying to be uh, careful by getting people to check things. Um, and I think the OpenStreetMap community is okay with that. Like, um, I, I don't know is, is really down, so I'm not sure how the, uh, the OpenStreetMap community feels. Um, you know, they, just everyone is, is being sensible uh, and, like I say, not copying data between the systems that um, people don't want to, uh, making new things in OpenStreetMap based on Wikidata or, or like, oh, it's in OpenStreetMap, let's just copy all of the, this thing into, into Wikidata. Um, people aren't doing that, so, you know, it's, I think the communities are getting along okay. Thank you. Okay, we have time for one last question before we move to the next presentation. If not, we can finish early and then have a little break. All right, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Everyone.